My name is Javon Warner Walton. I'm 11 years old and I'm known for boxing and gymnastics. I got my nickname Wanna because when I was really little, I just wanted to do everything. Javon never like crawled up on his hands and knees. Like his first crawl was an army crawl. And he kind of groaned when he did it, you know? He's just a beast. Anything that he does, anything he touches, he wants to do it his best. But the biggest defining factor is his motivation. The harder it gets, the harder he works. My biggest goal is to go to the Olympics and I just want to be just known for all my sports. So in the morning, I'll do a little bit of boxing, get a little bit of schoolwork done. After that, I'll go to TNT, which is trampoline and tumbling. And then at night, more boxing, or I'll do gymnastics. So this is my family's gym, and we recently opened. I'm DJ Walton, I'm Javon's father, and I happen to be his boxing coach as well. Coaching Javon, it's a joy working with somebody that wants to give you maximum effort on every rep, on every round. And for him to also be my son is just a great privilege. Man, I really love him. But when I grow up, I look forward to sparring in the ring with my dad. Ever in my life, I've seen a kid just starting out, just going, I mean, just going hard. The one time I'm working him so hard, he's only five years old. And he's just going, 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 going. And then I see tears and snot, and he's just going. He ain't stopping, he ain't stopping. So these are about bouts, right? Like my sister, she got about three fights, and you see me up there, I have about like 50 fights. I started out in gymnastics, and then he got into boxing. I saw him and his like mentality and his work ethic, and I just got inspired, so I was like, I wanna try this, see how I do. And it turns out like I really like it, it's a really good sport. Even my three-year-old brother, He'll say, hop in the ring, and we'll just start fighting each other. Ooh, we've been working it's been hard. hard. Oh, it is yeah. so good to see you, too. I can't believe how much you have grown. You told me when you were five years old mm -hmm. that you wanted to be an Olympic boxer. And I thought, I believe you. Do you remember the shoes that you wore? Yeah, I wrote Fighting for Ms. Jackson on my shoes because she had cancer at the time and still does, right? Mm -hmm. And I wanted to show her, like, I'm fighting for you and I'm here for you. Okay, that made me yeah. cry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Juana, so one of the things you need to accomplish today is your directions on the coordinate plane. Okay. I'm in an online school, so it allows me to fit my workouts in, in my school schedule. It's a lot easier knowing that I'm not in a classroom, so I can get my work done a lot quicker. And math is my favorite subject. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's going on, Javon? Nothing much. So I'd say one of the funnier things about Javon is every time he walks in, it's uh, like another day in the office. He might as well put down his briefcase and, you know, how the wife and kid's doing. He really uh, is a grown man in a young man's body. So well, when I was three years old, I watched my sister do gymnastics and my mom took me to this gym. Yeah, he came in and dad said, he can do flips everywhere. And I said, okay, sure, let's give it a shot. I was expecting maybe one flip on the trampoline, but he literally just tumbled flip over flip over flip. So Javon is on the elite track. This is a smaller, tight-knit group of individuals that really represent the country at one point. And he doesn't realize it, but he's the only elite trampoline for his age in the state of Georgia right now. So when we go to Junior Olympics, he would have a few competitors, but he would probably podium top three. It does make me happy. I mean, I really enjoy doing it. I think I still have a really long road to come, and throughout that road, I'll keep progressing over time. But like anything, the more time you put into one thing, the better off you're going to be. When he's ready to go towards the Olympic route would be when he would have to really start focusing in on one sport at a time. You know, he has asked several times at some point, do I have to make a decision? And even though coaches may say yes, we always say don't put limits on yourself. You can do whatever you want to do. You can go to the Olympics for gymnastics and you can go to the Olympics for boxing. And you know, we don't know exactly how that's going to happen, but we can make it happen. 
so I submitted a video for this thing called Team UA Next. It's the next generation of Under Armour athletes. And when I submitted my video, out of thousands of kids, I was one of the very few who've been chosen. And I was able to do the commercial with The Rock, which I was thankful for. It has afforded him a little bit of recognition, a little bit of fame, but we're constantly reminding him there's a lot of kids out there that put a lot of work in. And to be able to dedicate yourself and still have time to be a normal kid, it's cool to have a really big following on Instagram, but unless you're really chasing your dreams and doing what you love to do, all that really doesn't matter. The drive that he has, I know that he's gonna be something. We're gonna see that kid on TV more than we do now. Then the minute Wana can get into the Olympics, I have a feeling that's gonna be it. But I'm still a normal kid, you know? 